In this video, we are doing a comparison that how to create groups in Ledger in Tele Prime versus Tele ERP9. So right now we have three groups. So the first group is that is business and administration expenses. And under this group we have different ledgers. We have salaries, insurance, rent, rates and taxes and legal charges. The second group is that is sales and marketing expenses. And under this group we have different ledgers. We have advertisement expense, we have commission expense, we have packing and store supplies expenses and we have traveling expenses. The third group is that is economic and other expenses and under this group we have different expenses. We have audit fee, we have interest on loan and we have bank charges. So our first step is that uh, we need to create groups and ledger in Tally Prime. Remember one thing that Tally Prime that is the latest and upgraded version of Tally ERP9. So how to create the groups and ledger in Tally Prime? So first I'm going to create this business and administration expenses as a group in Tally Prime. So for that purpose, we have two options. Either you can go to this window, go to or the short key is Alt D, or the short key is Alt G or you can use this option under this gateway of Tally. We have master or you can use this option create. So the easiest way is that you can use this option create. So click here. This window will open and under this accounting master, we have groups and ledger. If you want to create groups, you can go to this option group. And if you want to create the ledger, you can use this option ledger. So we need to create our group first. So you can click this option group and this window will open. So you need to enter the name of your group. So our first group is that is business and administration expenses and that comes under indirect expenses. Press enter. You can use this option group behaves like a sub ledger. But if you don't want it behaves like a sub ledger, use the default option. No, so I'm not going to use uh, uh, this option as a sub ledger. So I will make this option. No then control A to save it. Now after this, I'm going to create our second group, which is sales and marketing expenses. So I'm going to enter the name here that is sales and marketing expenses. And the group is that is indirect expenses and then save it control A to save it. And, and the third group is that is economic and other expenses. So control C, I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste here the name of the group that is economic and other expenses so control a to save it so this is how we are creating groups in tally prime the other way is to create the groups that you can use this option which is go to or you can use the short key which is alt g so click here and this window will open and here we have this option which is create master so click this create master and this window will open and under this accounting master we have groups and ledger so click this group and the same group creation window it will open but that is a uh, a different way to open this group creation window but the easiest way is that you can use this option under this gateway of tally create group and the same window will open so now our next that we need to create ledgers now so again, the easiest way is that you can use this option create under the master and now we have ledger. So click here ledger. So our first ledger is that is salaries expense. And that comes under business and administration expenses. Enter, enter and you can save it. The next expense is that is insurance. And that comes also under business and administration expenses enter and then save it then we have rent rate and taxes I'm gonna create right now rent expense 
that is under business and administration expenses enter and then save it and the last one that is legal charges that is under also the same group business and administration expenses and then save it so this is how we are creating ledgers in Delhi Prime so our next uh, ledgers are under this group advertisement expense that is under sales and marketing expenses after advertisement we have commission expense that is under the same sales and marketing expenses and uh, save it then we have this packing expense under the same sales and marketing expenses or you can use control a to save it and the last one that is traveling expense under sales and marketing expenses so this is how we enter the groups and ledgers in Delhi Prime. So if you want to see the report, that how it will appear in your reports, you can go back. You can click this option, which is chart of accounts, or you can also click this option, go to, and there we have chart of accounts. So both are same. So when you click it, this window will open and you want to see your groups or ledgers. So I want to see my ledgers also. So click this so that is list of ledgers you can also use this option which is ledger view so when you click this ledger view or use the short key which is f5 it will show us the list of all the ledgers which we created in Delhi prime but i want to see the list of ledgers so you can use this option group uh, group view the short key is f5 and look we have this expenses that is the head account and under this expenses we have indirect expenses and under this indirect expenses we have business and administration expenses and under this business and administration expenses we have insurance expense we have legal charges we have rent expense and we have salary expenses the next group we created that was uh, sales and marketing expenses and under this group we have different expenses advertisement expense commission expense packing expenses and traveling expense so these are our ledgers and this sales and marketing economic and other expenses or business and administration expenses these are groups so this is how we are creating groups and ledger in Delhi prime so next step is that we need to do a comparison that how we can create the groups and ledger in Delhi ERP 9 which is the older version of this Delhi Prime so same procedure but different interface to create the groups we need to go in this master we have this account info under this account info we have groups so under this group we need to create a group so click here so we're gonna create a group which is buildings and that is our fixed asset enter uh, group behaves like a sub ledger. I'm not gonna do this uh, select this option at the moment. So control a to save it So this is how we are creating groups in Delhi ERP 9. So the next that I want to create Ledgers under this group. So you need to go in account info in account info We have ledgers in ledgers. We have this a single ledger or I'm gonna create a multiple ledgers so click here create so the group is that is buildings enter so first we have for example we have to buy mall enter if there's an opening balance you can enter we have emirates mall enter under the same group which is building and if there is an opening balance you can enter it enter we have burjaman mall enter if there is an opening balance you can enter press enter enter and save it so this is how you are creating ledgers in Delhi rp9 and if you check the report you can click on this display in display we have list of accounts click it and look under this fixed asset we have buildings buildings that is our group and under this building we have different ledgers we have Burjuman mall we have Dubai mall we have Emirates mall so this is how 
we are creating Brooks and Ledger in Delhi ERP9. So guys, if you have any question related to this topic, you can write your question in the comment section. We will reply you.